hey y'all and welcome to the video and thank you guys so much for watching today i am trying out and playing with the brand new kbd vegan beauty planet fanatic palette so you guys i've already played with this palette and this is what it looks like it's fully recyclable it has really cute recyclable stars on it this is the back it tells you the shade names and this is what the shades look like on the inside i thought that this was actually really really cute and i was like you know what i've always wanted to try kvd shadows and so i decided it's a new palette i'm gonna try it and honestly i'm very disappointed in this palette uh, i don't really review palettes all that often that aren't good and the last palette that i reviewed that wasn't good was the Tarte Juicy palette and even that one was way better than this one like this one is hot garbage so I don't recommend if you want to see how these shades blend together and all of that then definitely keep on watching I only did two I did four eye looks um, and I didn't even finish them out because I didn't even think they were worth me finishing out the eye look but um, I hope that you enjoy and you can see what I see and all of that um, and uh, don't hate me because it's not a, it's just it's not my fault you guys know I know how to do eye shadow if you've seen all my other videos it's not me it's the shadows i swear it's not me it's the shadows but on a good note, I can say that I used the Honest Beauty Foundation for the first time today. And um, I'm not wearing a primer. All I'm wearing is literally the foundation. And look at it. My face is like so shiny. This is literally equivalent to the KVD Vegan Beauty Apple Balm Good Apple Foundation. It's probably not as full coverage. But it's got this really beautiful like glow to it. Like, like I said, zero primer. It's just this foundation. And that's it. And I look good. I'm excited. But anyways, anyways. To the review we go and you guys can see what I did. <laughs>
Okay, you guys, so whenever I do these eyeshadow videos, I always complete my look. I like to do a liner and do the lashes so you can see, you know, the full picture of what the look turns out to be. But honestly, I didn't think this palette was even worth the honor of like an eye completion because the shades and the shadows and the blending just was not very good. Like if you were just using the matte shades by themselves, I think that it would look lovely. Like it feels really, really really nice and the one color on its own blends perfectly fine but when you start to add other colors it just becomes a mess and it just they don't work together they are not friends they do not play well together and then the shimmers also aren't all that good you can put them on your eye and then they start to rub away to nothing it also blends to nothing these matte shades they kind of just start to blend losing the color and blending out to nothing I don't know it's just it's not very good and I feel really bad for making a review on this and it's a negative because it's not very often that I try eyeshadow palettes and I don't like them but this one is not very good and I actually had high hopes for it because I really liked the KVD Apple Bomb foundation so I was like okay cool I'm gonna try out this eyeshadow palette but it's really not that good at all <laughs> um, I don't recommend it whatsoever and I just paid I think like $46 for this or 42 at Ulta um, so there's that <laughs> I have a feeling that this is probably gonna go on sale really soon probably for like half off because it's not very good and I'm sure whatever review is out there is probably gonna say the same thing it blends into like literally nothing and it blends away the pigment and it looks very streaky and patchy but like you can look at it and it's like it looks like this way you turn and then it looks like something different I don't even know if that makes any sense but I didn't even want to do another look with the palette because I've already used all the mattes and all the shimmers seem to be just alike they all look the same so just very like you know it's just it's not very good now this is a wet and dry palette maybe I should try it wet but when am I ever going to do a full look with my brushes wet I'm never gonna need it for anything wet so therefore I don't want to try it wet because I'm just not gonna ever need it um, that's just like an added extra thing that I'm just never gonna do but yeah I just wanted to make this review and I kind of you know I was I was, I was looking forward to the palette but like I said it's not very good so um, I apologize if um, you guys were hoping that this palette was good, but it's not. And um, it's all I have to say. So thank you guys so much for being here and watching. Thoughts and opinions down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.